everybody. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your LG FinQ uh, remote management app so that you can control your washer and dryer. Now this app obviously resides in your smartphone. So from your smartphone, you can monitor and actually manage and remotely control uh, your washer and dryer from LG. So let me show you how you set that up. So what we have here is a bottom load washer. So I have a washer at the bottom and dryer at the top. So within your, if you go to the Google Play Store, uh, same thing on on, uh, on your iOS device, you would go to the uh, Apple App Store, but I'm on an Android device, so I'm going to go to the Google Play Store. So I'm going to search for Thin, T-H-I-N, Q, there it is. It's already installed, so I'm just going to enable it. And then while I'm here, I do an update, so let's do that quickly. But if you haven't installed this app before, this is where you get it. So once it's installed, they're going to click on open. They're going to go on next. So these are the things you can do with the app. You can control your devices pretty much at any time. You can uh, diagnose issues with your devices as well. And there's also a usage report. So you can analyze energy usage and product usage patterns. And last but not least, there are smart routines where you can choose routines that fit your lifestyle. So with that, let's get started. So obviously you would need to have uh, sign up with LG. So then what you do when you've done that, you will log in with your email address and your password. So I'm going to do that right now. Now once you've successfully entered your login credentials, we shall now go into the app itself. So let's just wait for a couple seconds. So then I'm just going to enter my phone number as a verification. So once you've successfully logged in, this is what the interface looks like. So I do have a TV in the house. It's currently offline. So what we're going to do now is press the plus up here on the upper right hand side of the screen here. And we're going to say add devices. So this is a wash tower. So I'm going to click on wash tower. So what we're going to do is scan the QR code on the wash tower. So let's look for that QR code. And here we have the LG ThinQ QR code. Now, first off, what we have to do is turn on both the washer and dryer. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to turn on the dryer first. And then we'll turn on the washer. And now I'm going to say turned on on my app. And now it says scan the QR code on the wash tower. So I'm going to say yes while using the app. So I'm going to go here. Scan the code. It's now searching for device. So now I have to log into my home Wi Fi. So I'm going to do that right now. So, what we have to do now is turn on both washer and dryer. Yes, they are on. And now we have to press and hold the button mark Wi Fi on the washer for three seconds. So, I'm going to hold this Wi Fi here on the washer. That's the word Wi Fi. So I've held down for three seconds and the Wi-Fi is flashing. So we say done. And it says keep your smartphone within one meter of the wash tower. The closer the smartphone is to the device, the better. And we have this pop-up saying, do we want to connect? Yes, we want to connect. So we're connecting to the wash tower. And now it says that we are connected. It's gathering the device info. And it's being set up as we speak. So the good news is we don't have to do the washer and dryer separately because this is a wash tower. We're doing both at the same time, both the washer and the dryer, which is great. Thank you, LG. So now we can change the device name. So I'm going to leave it as just a wash tower. So I'm going to say OK. So as you can see, we have successfully set up the wash tower. And here it is in our ThinCube client. So if I just click on the wash tower icon, here we can see now where we can turn on and off this thing via remote control. We can configure the washer, we can look at the temperature setting, we can set up the extra winds, uh, we can set the spin setting and uh, determine the level of how dirty the clothes are. Right now I just left it at normal. And we can uh, you know, send those, of course, set what we want here. Like I can set the spin, so medium high, that's the default. No spin. We can then, you know, if how how dirty are is everything. 
I want to leave it at a normal setting for soil. And then, um, then you can then of course configure turn on and off the steam, uh, the pre-wash, the cold wash, as well as the fresh cure feature. And then there's useful features here where you can manage your favorites. There's the top clean coach. There's energy monitoring, which is great. And you can track the cycles used. And there's also a smart diagnosis uh, for the, both the washer and the dryer. Right now, there's no results because we haven't really used this yet. This is a, a new wash tower. All right, so if I go back in here and we can then go to the dryer section here, we can set the temperature. Right now, it's set to medium high, which is by default for the temperature. Energy saver is on and wrinkle care is off. And again, you have the same useful features here as well. All right. So I'm just going to do a test run here. Wash, some lint, wash these linens here. Give this a little test run. So within, so within the app, I'm going to click on the wash tower icon. And now what we're going to do is start, just going to say we want warm temperature, uh, no extra inch, medium high, and normal soil. So we will leave the default settings. I'm now going to send these instructions to the washer. Now it says for safety reasons, the remote start must be turned on from the device control panel before the cycle can be started in the smartphone app. So press and hold the remote start button on the washer for at least three seconds. So let's go and do that now. So I'm going to press and hold the remote but, but, um, button right here. So I've held it on for three seconds and I'm also going to do the same thing for the, that was the dryer remote. I'm going to click on the remote on for the washer as well. That way I can remotely control both of them. So now they're set up. I can now go on my device and remotely control these uh, two appliances. Okay, so that's now on my go on my smart device, and now I click OK, and now we have selected the wash. I'm going to just say start. So the cycle started, and while it's, we can then look on the device, and it's showing you the status of what it's doing right now. It's detecting, and there's even an animation as well within the app. That is pretty cool. And now it's washing and it has 53 minutes left in this cycle. So I can go about my business and I can easily track when this is done. So I can, when it's done, I can come back and then I can put the clothes in the dryer and we can then run the dryer from this app as well. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you set up your LG ThinQ client to connect to your wash tower, your LG wash tower. So I hope you enjoyed that last video. Now, if you liked this uh, video and you liked it, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you subscribe to, to my channel, I am appreciative of that as well. So thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye-bye.